at the end of this video, you will be able to set your course notifications, update your Canvas profile, locate your account level files, and understand the settings, shared content, and QR code sections of your Canvas account. We are going to start our exploration of Canvas in the account. To get there, find the global navigation menu on the far left in blue and click the topmost icon called Account. When you click Account, you will see a new menu come up showing the various areas within your account that you can explore. First, we will look at notification settings. When you click into notifications, the first thing you will see at the top of the screen are two notices giving you information about how notifications work. Below these notices, you will see a drop-down box under the heading Settings 4. This box lets you choose whether you're setting notification policies for your entire account or an individual course with which you're associated. Next, you will see a long list of things for which you can set notification policies grouped into various categories. Next to this list of items, there is a column for email notifications, and you will see that it connects to your main Duke email. In this column, you will see a number of different icons indicating different types of notifications. If you hover over the icon for due date, you will see it is set to daily summary. You can click this icon to change the notification policy for this item to either notify immediately, weekly summary, or turn the notifications off. You can change these settings for every item on this list, and there is no save required on this page. It is very important to note that these settings apply to your notifications only. Any changes you make here do not apply to your students' notifications. If there is a specific notification you want to ensure they have set, please discuss this with them in class. Next, we will go into Profile. Under Profile, you can add a picture of yourself, information about yourself, or relevant links such as to Twitter or LinkedIn. To add a profile picture, hover over the circular picture space and click on the pencil icon that comes up. There, you can upload a picture of yourself, take one in the moment, or use an avatar if you have one. You will be able to align your picture as you wish, then make sure to click Save. To edit the Biography or Links area, click Edit Profile, which can be found on the right side of the screen as either its own button or an option under the three dots. Due to privacy issues, which will be explained in another video, this information in the profile page will not be accessible to students. If there is any information you are planning to put here that you want students to know, we suggest you put that information somewhere else in Canvas, like a syllabus page or course homepage. When you are happy with your changes, click the blue Save Profile button. The next account item we are going to look at is Files. You can add files here at your personal account level, but you will also see all the files in your courses located under a folder for that course. All the files you add, whether at the account or course level, will be archived here. If you try to move items within this file structure, please note that if you drag and drop an item within a course's file structure, it will simply move. However, if you drag and drop it from one course's file structure to another course's structure, it will copy the item you are trying to move. You will notice that you have lost the account submenu when you clicked into files. To find your account again, you can click on your name in the breadcrumbs at the top of the screen to get back to it. You can also click on the account icon in the global navigation menu again. The next menu option below Files is Settings. Here you will see your name information, pronouns, and other user settings. Your name and pronouns cannot be changed within Canvas because they are being pulled from OIT. You can edit that information through OIT's self-service page. The link to this page is included below this video. 
You can also edit your contact information here if you want to add or change the email associated with Canvas. Do this by clicking the plus email address within the ways to contact section on the right side of the screen. Next, you will see an item for shared content. When I click into this area, you'll see I don't have anything in here and you likely won't either. But know that you can share items like files, quizzes, and assignments, for example, with your colleagues and anything shared with you will show up here to import if you want to use it in a course of your own. Finally, we will look at the QR code for mobile login option. When you click into this page, a warning will appear telling you that you should not share this QR code with anyone. This is because the QR code allows for direct access to your account from the Canvas app. This is useful if you want a quick way to log into the Canvas app, however it should not be shown to anyone. Students will have their own QR codes and should not share those either.